you got a you got fights, man, that are, are in your weight class that are that are happening. Some some big ones right now. I think uh, Mauricio Lohr, he's going to be fighting Lee Wood again for the WBA, which I think you're ranked number two in, in for that strap. I, I think who is it? Um, Luis Alberto Lopez is fighting uh, Mick Conlon for the IBF. I think you're ranked number six for that one. Does oh they moved me up? They moved you up. Uh, I ain't even. I, I wasn't even looking at the ring. But um, yeah, I mean, they some good fights, but I, I'm not like really looking forward to fighting Mickey Cobb, Michael Conlon, and uh Lopez because I'm I'm only planning on getting the WBA title and then moving up after I get that. So my main focus is the WBA route. Oh no doubt. So you be watching? Are you are you going to go? I think I see you put it out on Twitter whether you should go and attend. That fight or not? Are you thinking about going out that ringside, pull a little get in the ring, call out type deal? Uh, my I only thought about going because my manager want me to go, but I don't know though. We we gonna have to see. We, we'll see. No doubt, man. I'm gonna be looking for you, man. I'm be looking for you ringside. <laughs> Yo, so looking at your last three fights, right? I think combined, I think they're like sixty three, two and one. So most people would be like, man, yo, like this this guy is moving like outrageously fast. Yeah. <laughs> is 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 that your way of sending a message to the rest of the division? Or is that your way of saying, look, man, I can't I can't hang around here too much longer. This weight thing is getting difficult. I think I think first it was like me trying to sep- separate myself from like the other top prospects. That was the first thing. Like, so I'm like, all right, let me, let me. How, what's the way I'm gonna separate myself and make myself stand out? So I'm like, all right, just try to give me like the most experienced guys with the best records, and um, that's what I've been doing. So I've been fighting like undefeated dudes and and you know other top prospects, and then going to the the, the top contenders now. So um, that's that's what that was my first thought of it, like just me trying to separate myself from the other top prospects. But now it's just like I feel like my performance is 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 what's going like you know send a message to the world champions and, and things like that in the division uh when how I'm dominating guys and, and things like that so I mean I'm I'm really not I really don't really focus on that stuff now though like I'm just going to do my job and trying to get to that world title and then you know I just do me. Have you had any conversation with either one of these guys going back to? Uh, the WBA fight, Mauricio Laura or Lee Woods. Has, has there been any correspondence between y'all at all? Like, have you told one of them, look, man, like, it don't matter which one of y'all win, I'm coming for the head at the end of the day? Nah. I, I mean, I'm pretty vocal about everything. But, um, I, I ain't getting no response from nobody. Don't nobody really say nothing back. They try to, you know, make it seem like I, I don't exist, I guess. But, I mean, but I guess... When you just looking at Mauricio Lara, you ain't really looking to worrying about nobody else that's coming up. So, I mean, I understand with why why they not really responded back to me, but I'm here though. They gonna have to see me one way or another. Do you think that's the case that you're just like they're like, look, man, I don't want to, I want to talk about this guy. Like he's too sharp. He's too he's too much of a risk. I mean, it could be the case, but like I said, I think they just more focused on the world title. The, the champion and that's and that's how I'm like that's what I'm focused on I don't really care about nobody who don't got the belt like if that was the case I would be calling out Josh Warrenson he got a big name in, in the division I don't care about Josh Warrenson I care about who getting the belt who who fighting for the belt and who got the belt so that's what I'm worried about Lee Wood and Laura whoever win that that's what I'm shooting for I don't really care about nobody else in the division yeah who, who would you who would you pick right now for that fight obviously we saw what happened uh, in the first fight, Lee Wood got caught with a good one, um, but they had a they had a good spirited event going on before. You know what I'm saying? He landed the bomb on him. How do you how do you see part two going? I thought I thought Lee Wood was going to win the first fight, to be honest. But his IQ now is as good as I thought it was going to be the fight. Um, Laura, you know, I don't know what it is, but but he just somehow he just keep knocking everybody out from over there. But um. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go with Laura this time again because I just I think his IQ uh Lee was IQ is not that good. 
how would you see a fight between you and Mauricio Lohr? I'm out boxing for 12 rounds. Complete domination. They going to call it barn, but I'm going to win. <laughs> <laughs> is that, how, how is it dealing with that? Because you hear that all the time, especially with guys like yourself, man. You, Haney, Shakur, even Shakur got called boring, especially after his fight with um, Nakathea. Like, how do, do y'all just tune that out when when on the outside everyone's going, ah, oh, man, he's not going to hit. I mean, you have a 50% knockout ratio. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. How do you tune that out and just say, look, man, I, I, I'm going ahead at the end of the day and I'm getting this win? I mean, they, they love you, then they hate you. You know, one minute they appreciate your performance, like when I knocked out. Sakari Lucas, they appreciated that. And then when I outbox somebody like Jesse, they don't appreciate that. But they're not really looking at the type of opponent that I'm outboxing. And like, they are not even looking at how I dropped him twice and I heard him multiple times in the fight and just completely watched him. Y'all just want me to go in there and be rock and sock and robots and give y'all excitement. But I feel like, man. I don't, I don't really pay that no mind no more. I just go in there and do what I got to do to win. Like, as long as I'm winning, that's all that matters. Like, if I go in there to try to excite y'all and lose, y'all going to call me a bum and ain't nobody going to talk about me no more. So, as long as I'm winning, that's all that matters. I stay, I stay in the business. I stay, you know, at the top and keep going forward. But it's going to be performances that they're going to call boring. It's going to be performances that they're going to love. It all depends on the opponent that they give me.